Oh my goodness, gotta get this tripod set up. Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Angela. As I get set up here, I'm going live. I gotta tighten this little, little tripod thing in the jiggy. Don't you love it when I do that nice flattering up the nose angle? It's so good. Let me show you my lunch. Broccoli, chicken, cauliflower, butter is the fat, and I'm gonna do some apple as my lunch. This video is basically talking about the importance of picking set times of day and sticking to them on Bright Lane Eating. And basically I'll tell you, this video idea kind of came to me because about a week or two ago, somebody commented on one of my videos saying, just tell me what times to eat. I'm brand new on Bright Lane Eating. And basically for me, I don't think I have advice on like what exact times to eat, but my advice is pick it and stick to it. Like literally, Look at your schedule, look at your workload every day, or if you go to school, or if you have a job, or if you have a family, or whatever. Pick the time of day that works for you that you will be able to be the most consistent with. The most consistent, and that's important because building automaticity will help you succeed in this program better. And the way you build automaticity is like, you don't even have to think about the food that you eat. Basically, our goal on Bright Lane Eating is to remove decision-making in the moment when it comes to your food. And if you pick specific times of day and you stick to them like clockwork, they become your habits, they become your triggers. When you see that time on the clock, you're gonna know, okay, it's time to eat. I've, I have watched a video with Dr. Susan Pierce Thompson, the founder of Bright Lane Eating, talking about creating more autophagy, which is spelled A-U-T-O-G-A-P-H-Y. That word means like if you have a greater window between times of eating, meaning like from nighttime to daytime, you can have greater cell renewal, which is autoph autophagy. And if you increase the amount of time, like if you shorten the window, and I think this is where we get into the, um, excuse me, into the um, discussion of intermittent fasting, which I do not do, but she was like, if you can narrow the window of time between like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, if you make that shorter on the clock, you have more autophagy overnight. So you might want to think about that. I am good with not doing that. Like literally when I wake up, I split a protein and I do a half a cup of milk in the morning. That's like a half protein. And so I do a half a cup of milk in the morning and um, I have that in my iced coffee. That's a half a protein. And then I eat my lunch later and then my uh, dinner later. So I'll tell you the times that have worked for me. It's going to sound really weird. This is what I do. You do not have to do this. this is what I do. Um, Dr. Susan would not approve of this because she doesn't think we should have snacks. I don't think of it as a snack when I have my half cup of milk in the morning. For me, that's my extra morning half protein. If you follow me here on my channel, you know that I do a bright line eating version, which is the weight loss plan plus extra food because I have binge eating disorder. And um, that's what Dr. Joy, who is like the psychologist that Bright Line Eating uses to do like the fifth Bright Line group, which is the fifth Bright Line means don't binge. She has a group of people that she advises for eating disorders. She has a bunch of calls and I learned through that group on the membership that if you have binge eating disorder, it's okay to add food. And so I still lose weight. Like I still am a fast loser even whenever I add food. So what I do is that usually when I wake up and that's either seven or 8 a.m., I have my half a cup of iced coffee and half a cup of whole milk together in a cup with ice. And then at 10 a.m. is when I have my full breakfast. And it's usually a weight loss breakfast because I got my half protein, like my half extra protein right when I woke up. And then I don't eat lunch until 2 p.m. That's me, that's me. And then I will eat dinner about six. So I give myself about four hour windows between me eating. Now, let me tell you, this is very like, unusual and the times I eat are like weird <laughs> like who eats breakfast at 10 and then lunch at 2 and dinner at 6 like that's the 2 o'clock lunch is like hard because I work a corporate job and so it's just like wow um and then let me tell you right now it's one o'clock and I'm eating lunch which is a little bit unusual but I worked out this morning and I'm like I'm extra hungry so I'm listening to my body and honoring it so it's funny because I'm giving you advice and that has worked for me to be consistent with the 10 2 and 6 but now lately I've been like maybe I should examine moving these times earlier because I'm trying to wake up earlier so maybe I have my coffee at like 6 30 and then eat breakfast at nine and then lunch at one and then dinner at six. Like that's kind of what I'm thinking. Also, it's usually recommended by experts, weight loss experts. They say, eat your dinner a little bit earlier. Don't eat it like past seven or 7.30 because then you're not giving your body enough time to digest before you fall asleep. Um, unless you're like, you know, your hours are shifted later. Like, you know, use your judgment. 
And I mean, that's really all I wanted to talk about today is like choosing the times to eat and being consistent with them. Again, it's one of those do as I say, not as I do today, because today I'm a little bit off schedule, but um, I'm trying to shift myself earlier. Like I'm trying to wake up earlier and I'm trying to sh shift my eating, my breakfast and lunch a little bit earlier. So I'm in a little bit of transition state right now. Um, drop a comment below. Let me know what you do. Like what times of days do you, or what time of day do you eat? And how does that work for you? And what is your hunger right before you eat? I'm very curious about that. I am most hungry before dinner. Like, woo, I'm hungry. <laughs> so especially depending on what I ate for lunch. Like if I had a salad with a bunch of raw veggies, I'm like super hungry at dinner. Anyway, sending you love. Thanks so much for watching this video as usual. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, by the way, be sure you subscribe so you don't miss my future videos. Bye for now.